Coming up on KUAM News, we head south for an in-depth look at how Cocos Island is being ready for the possible release of the territorial bird of Guam. Plus, preparation continues so that the territorial bird of Guam can be released later this year on Cocos Island. From planting native vegetation to rodent eradication, recently we made the trip down south to get a better idea of what the project entails. Here's more in tonight's top story. It's a picturesque scene on the boat ride out to Cocos Island, one of the only remaining places locally, by the way, where seabirds are nesting. But while Cocos Island is always ready for tourists and the public to play, it's not ready just yet for the release of the Guam Rail. Currently around 100 cocoa birds are being raised at the Department of Agriculture in Manilao. And from that 100, wildlife biologist Diane Weiss says 16 will be released on Cocos Island, perhaps this coming November, if things go as planned. This is a very exciting project. Uh, this will be the first time that Guamanians, residents and visitors will be able to see the Guam Rail in the wild. Not everybody could go up on the military base to visit it where we did previous releases on Guam, but on Cocos it'll be available for everybody to come and try and see it because it, it is a secretive bird. Vice says Cocos Island is currently home to one species of rat as well as one species of mice and in an effort to not only prepare the area for the cocoa birds but also to protect other flora and fauna on Cocos, Vice says rodent eradication will likely take place at the end of March. Those rodents impact nesting seabirds by taking eggs and small chicks and would be harmful to the cocoa if not eradicated first. Vice says the USDA has been contracted for extermination purposes and will be using the rodenticide called difasinone. Obviously on Cocos Island there's a lot of wild areas so we have a special label for conservation purposes on islands and it's highly regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency. Vice notes that special bait stations will be used to keep non-targeted animals out and only allow rodents to get in. Some areas of the forest will be hand broadcast at specific and monitored sewage rates. The bait will be set out in the evenings after the tourists leave, after the guests leave, and it will be uh, all the bait stations will be collected in the morning and all the dead rodents. The dead rodents, Vice says, will then be buried in the landfill. Along with rodents, there is also a large population of monitor lizards on Cocos Island, which won't be eradicated, but will be reduced, since Vice says they are likely feeding on birds. The public will also play a vital role in keeping the Guam Rail safe, but that doesn't mean that Cocos will become off-limits in any way. Administrative Director for the resort, Larry Mulliken. They're, they're not trying to... Uh, make it a reserve or preserve. We, we want to keep it open to the people, not just our uh, customers, but the general public. Vice notes that a biosecurity program to prevent snakes, rodents, as well as cats from getting out to Cocos is being developed. Boat owners will play a vital role in making sure the pests don't make it out to the island. Other measures such as trash collection, Mulliken says, are also important so as not to provide a refuge for rodents. It's very hard right now to get recycling started in Guam and this is a way to kind of force people to do it because that's all part of our the biosecurity and so on. Once biosecurity measures are in place and the rails are ready for release in order to collect data the 16 cocos will be outfitted with monitoring devices. From that monitoring information we'll be able to find out how big a habitat they need we'll be able to determine if they're nesting if they're pairing if they're successful and if some of them may not be successful, some of them may fail to forage. And while it's possible that not all of the first cocoa birds released on Cocos Island will survive, Vice says the information gained from this project will be immense. Well, the cocoa bird is, is an amazing animal and Guam should be, should be proud of it. For the resort, our, our main focus is, is not just the tourism, it's for everyone. And we want to reserve the beauty that we have out here. Public meetings regarding the Coco Bird, Cocos Island Project are on tap for this week. The first is being held this Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. down at the Mariso Mayor's Office. Another is planned for Wednesday at the Manilao Mayor's Office at the same time.